What is going on, guys? How are we all doing? That's a lot of vapor off that little thing, isn't it? We, <laughs> how are we all doing? I hope we're all good. Today we are back with another little review. This is a little RTA from the guys over at EH Pro and Vapor Mavic. It is, as you probably guessed from the title up there, it is the Kelpie RTA. Little single coil tank, little single coil RTA. What we're going to do in today's video, going to drop it down to the table, going to do a little unboxing, um, show you around the tank, throw a little build on it, then we're going to come back up the top. And I'm going to tell you my pros, my cons, and my overall thoughts on this little single coil tank. So, see you all in just a sec. So, welcome to the table camera section of the Kelpie RTA. Very quick run around of the packaging. Seek the delight of vape. I like that. Vape from a vape project. Put my box on upside down. You get stuff on the back. You get stuff on the back. You get stuff on the sides. You get stuff on the top. You get stuff on the bottom. You also get stuff on the front. So we get some stuff inside. We get a tank. We get a bubble glass. In fact, I never actually got the bubble glass from inside. I got the bubble glass from a different box, but it's got a space for a bubble glass for if you are outside of the EU and the TPD zones. So, pop everything out. You also get a little baggie of goodies. You get a Allen key, some a screwdriver, some coils, some spare grub screws, and some O-rings and whatnot. Little blue screwdriver. I haven't seen one of them for a while, to be honest with you. Let's have a little look at this tank. So, this actually isn't the drip tip that comes with this. This is, um, I think it might be the Profile Unity this came with, but the actual drip tip that comes with it's really nice, but I've been running it onto this mod, and like the silver really goes nice, and then the blue just goes nice with the mod, so it's the reason why I've been doing that. So, designed by Vapor Mavic, EH Pro, CNA, you got a serial number, and I have got 5,621. Don't I feel fucking special? On the side, you've got two big giant airflow controllers that have got quite nice tolerances on them. It's quite loose, but it's not too loose, so you do have to give it a bit of an effort to open it, and it doesn't spin round, and it doesn't spin round, which is always a pro, isn't it? I think it's a pro. Going up, you've got your big window, you've got a little bit of um, branding, you've got like a horse and a castle, which is it's a Kelpie. The Kelpies, I think it's like the Loch Ness Monster or something equivalent to that. On the top there you get Kelpie and you get a little arrow, and that is your filling port. And then you get your big 810 goon style catch cup kind of thing going on inside there. So, to get into this, let's have a look at the deck. The deck is quite recurve-esque. Um, it's got honeycomb airflows, and it's got, if you see right along the middle here, the actual middle row of holes are quite a little bit smaller than the rest. I think they're all one millimeter holes and they're half a millimeter holes. And that just restricts the airflow down and gives you a nice, smooth airflow. GTA kind of, no it's not even a GTA, you've got this little um, build deck and you've got, I don't know if you can see it, but the nice little hooks just up there just to stop the legs of your coil flopping out so once you got it in, screw it down, it's not going anywhere because it's got to go up on like, what's that, like a 45 degree angle or something. Um, you've got four screws and you've got positive side, is it positive? No, it's your negative. You've got your positive side here and you've got your negative side there. So the way you want to run your coils, you can either do it where you've got your coils like coming out on two different angles like that, or you can have it your normal coil where it's coming in on that side. So whichever way um, that you want to do it is entirely up to you. You get a very small wick port just here. It's quite small. It is quite small, but it, it's enough. It is enough, but it is small. <laughs> And you get your glass, and let's have a little close-up on this. My hands just started shaking. So yeah, you've got like a horse, you've got like a castle, a little bit of water and stuff like that. Some nice O-rings just on there. Um, that doesn't come off, but not that you'd need it to. 
and you get a nice little bit of dolmen on the inside there. It's not the domiest, but it is a little bit domey. And um, as we all know, dolmen is really good for producing lots of really good flavour. So we go back onto that, zoom back in so you don't see all my stuff that you're not meant to see. So the tank. So what we're going to do now, we are going to use some of these coils and we are going to use some of this cotton and we are going to throw a little build on it. Actually, while we are up nice and close to this, one thing I want to point out at you, that is a con, I know it's being spoken about before, but look at these. I have had this tank for a week. Look at this screw, and look at this screw, and look at this screw, and this screw. Look at all the fucking screws. They've all started warping, they've all started coming apart. I know it's been mentioned, and I know the version 2 has got bigger screws on it. But, like, come on. That's fucking shit. That is absolutely shocking. You know what I mean? I've had it, I've had it a week. A bang on a week. In fact, today it's been a week since I arrived it. It arrived last Friday. So, that's not really that good. You know what I mean? I've put five builds on it. Five different builds on it. Because, obviously, testing it, try a couple of different things. But, come on. So, going to pop a coil on here. Yeah, some kind of fuse clapped in. You've got what is that? Tricor fuse clapped in by the look of it. So as I said earlier on, you can either wick it like so, build it like so, or if you've got a coil that's not got the extra wrap round. Um, in fact, I'll show you. So you can either run it like that, or you can put the extra half a wrap on and make it go in like so. And that'll fit in that way around. You get me? Yeah, you get me.
Welcome back up top, welcome back up top. So we're going to start this off with a couple of little specs. Top fill, it's a top fill design, it's a single coil. It's got 30 hole perforated airflow with the little tiny ones down the middle. Um, to two mil or three and a half milliliter capacity, whether you've got the straight or the bubble glass on it. It's a 25 millimeter tank and it is 32 millimeters, not including the 510 or drip tip. So I'll just tap it. Do you know what I mean? And um, it comes in black or stainless steel. I obviously have the stainless steel one. This is not the drip tip that comes with it, but um, it does look quite nice on my little dove pole rogue little review link up at the top hopefully if i figured out how to do it so start off with build quality the build quality is really good but there's a couple of flaws with it as well the all the threads are all absolutely flawless they're all absolutely perfect all the tolerances apart from the top fill it it's very jaggedy i don't see any um like O-rings or anything on it, so it does feel quite jaggedy. Maybe, maybe, maybe I might have got a slightly dodgy one. I'm not too sure. Um, I'll have to check other people's reviews and see what they say. I haven't watched any reviews on this yet. i um, seen Vic's video with it when it first came up, but I haven't actually watched any reviews on it. But yeah, that's, um, it's a little bit jaggedy in its opening, and it does feel as if it's not open fully. It does feel like it should be another millimetre. Um, so as I say, I might have got a slightly dodgy one, I'm not too sure, but the one I am reviewing, it's not going to mark off for that, you know what I mean. The tolerances on the drip tip, the 510, um, the 810 drip tip, the actual screws to get everything on and off is brilliant, and the airflow control, the tolerances on that is for brilliant, it's just silky smooth, really easy to use. Um, the build deck, I do really like the build deck. I like the pull that it um, produces, especially with like the smaller holes down the middle of it. It just produces really nice, tight. Um, it's not, it's not mouth along, but it's a really restricted direct along pull, and I do really enjoy it. It's ideal for like forty five watts on a single battery mod. You know what I mean? It's quite an easy little dripper to build on. Um, it's quite an easy tank to drip to. Yeah. I really like the build deck on it. It's really easy to build on. It is a hell of a lot easier to do your coil with the normal orientations if you're dropping them in than it is to wedge the legs down when it comes out like that, like a um, cartoon coil or something, do you know what I mean? But I do find it produces better flavour when it's all on one side rather than split between the two sides. Um, and I do find it's easier to install the coils like that. The screws, I know it's been mentioned before, and I'm pretty sure it has been fixed with the version 2, um, but I don't know. The flat head screw, the Phillips head screws that it comes with, they're, they're absolutely shocking, like the shit. Like, really, really shocking. I've, I've, put, I've had this tank for just over a week, and that was a couple of days ago when I done my table camera section. I've had this tank for just over a week, and... They've started stripping down already. It's I'm a fairly careful, careful vapor. I'm I'm experienced. I've vaped for like five years now. I've worked on a shop for like two and a half years. I know what I'm doing with it. I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Everything's done properly. But this the stripping out. It's shocking. The spares that you get in the bag. They are um, Allen keys. The whatever the actual thing. Hex screws or something. It's a Allen key. Tiny little Allen key. Um, but again, they're so small, like I can see it happening again with them in the future. I don't want to put them onto this just yet because I don't want to have two sets of screws that are goosed, do you know what I mean? That can't happen because like, it's, it's alright, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying the tank. The airflow, the abs actual airflow on the tank is absolutely perfect, it really is perfect, I really enjoy it. It's quite a quiet and it's not a turbulent vape at all, but you wouldn't expect it with... 30 holes punched into the bottom of it and it's quite a quiet tank really run this 45 watts got the airflow <coughs> Oof. i've got the airflow completely wide open silky smooth do you know what i mean it's absolutely silky smooth close over the airflow about halfway 
and we'll have another little go at that. Exactly the same. Silky smooth, no tablings, no whistling, no nothing. Just can't argue with that. And I'll close it over pretty much fully. See what it's like there. Little bit of a whistle on it, but you know, like I'm pulling a lot of air for a tiny little hole, of course it's gonna whistle. Do you know what I mean? You can't argue with that. The Wiccan, I'm not a fan of the Wiccan on it. The little tiny things I would like to see. Um like a, a grid round because I have found a couple of times that it's I've like taken it off to check me wicking or because it's spitting back and flooding a little bit. Um It does seem to come out of place from time to time. Um, not all the time, but like from time to time it does slightly come out of place because there's just not enough space for it or it gets caught on the screws when you're unscrewing it and screwing it back on. Um, that could be my fault, but like it's never really happened on any of the tanks that I've owned and I've had other tanks that have got similar kind of wicker mechanisms um, but it's just a little bit too shallow for me. Um, the flavour... The flavour's a little bit muted, I find. I do find the flavour's a bit muted. It's not bad flavour. It's not bad flavour at all. But as I said earlier on, um, I don't think it's my wicking or my building abilities because, as I said, I'm, I've been for like five years now and I've worked in a shop for a fair amount of time, really, and I know what I'm doing. Like, obviously, there's every chance that it could be my wicking and that, but like with the amount of builds that I've put onto it, like I think it's the fifth or the sixth build, that I've had on it now, um, and I've wicked it, oh, well, I must have wicked it like 15 times, just to make sure I've got it all right before I come on and speak me mind, <coughs> but yeah, I do find the flavour to be a little bit muted, I do find that the flavour is better if you drop the coil right down, close to the um, the the valley, the valley of death, F, do you know what I mean, I do like it, the flavour is a little bit better when if the coil's lower down than if it's higher, but I do find if the coil's a little bit higher, you do get a little bit more vapour out of it. Um, but obviously, it's fuck the vapour, man, it's all about the flavour, really. Obviously, a nice bit of vapour is nice, but like if you've got loads of vapour and shit flavour, if you've got loads of vapour and just a little bit of flavour, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, do you know what I mean? But yeah. Overall, it's it's not a bad tank at all. It's not the best tank by any means. It's not the best tank. It has got a couple of flaws. I do really, really like the airflow. The airflow is absolutely nailed it, to be honest with you. But, like, the flavour's not up to par. Um, what else? What else have I missed on it? What else? What else? What else? The, yeah, all the machining's really nice on it. The tolerance is apart from the mouthpiece. Not the mouthpiece, the... All the tolerances are nice on it apart from the um, top fill. It is quite loose and it is quite jaggedy as it does it as well. It just feels like it's a bit bevied. Do you know what I mean? feels like the next day it feels like it's hung over and it just doesn't really want to do what it's told to do. But what can you do? But overall I like the look of it. It's a nice looking little tank. I do like it without the bubble glass and I like it a little bit more with the bubble glass. I am a bubble glass kind of man, how many times can you say bubble glass in a sentence, I think that was like four times the head, you know what I mean, but overall it's not a bad tank in the slightest, it's, it's a decent effort, um, but to be honest, I was expecting better flavour from a name as big as Vaping with Vic, to be honest with you, sorry Vic, if you're watching this I do apologise dude, but you know what it is, I've got to say it, I will say it, simple as that. But oh yeah, that's been the Kelpie RTA from the guys over at EH Pro and Vaping with Vic. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you've, you know, if you want to buy it, you go and buy it. If you don't want to buy it, don't go and buy it. I hope I've helped you make a decision is what I'm saying. But always, don't just go off what I say. Go and watch a couple of different reviews and get other people's opinions. Or just go and buy the tank because you can spend your money on a hell of a lot worse, you know what I mean? But yes, yeah, thank you very much for watching. My name is Bobo. We've been The Vapory. Our website's now up. If you've made it this far, I doubt many of you have stayed until the very end. But if you have, our website's up and running. Obviously, I can't put links in anymore. But uh, if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, our website's on there. It is thevapory.shop. And you can buy some of our lovely, lovely vape punks.
yeah, off there at £12 a piece. So go and check that out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all.